Uh, good to see you, Melissa. DraftKings buying Golden Nugget online for $1.5 billion, all stock deal here. GNOG shareholders will get 0.365 shares in this newly formed company, a company that will also get a new name, new DraftKings, just rolls off the tongue. GNOG is Tillman Fertitta's spinoff, the standalone sports betting digital part of the Golden Nugget. He owns about 46% of it, and DraftKings says he will continue to hold the DraftKings shares for a minimum of a year. So what does DraftKings get here? It says Golden Nugget's 5 million customers who are especially important because of iGaming. Those are customers, which we just heard CEO Jason Robbins say in the earnings call Friday, that DraftKings has really lagged in attracting. It's a crucial customer base. It's far more lucrative than the sports betting customer. Also, it gets a foothold in Houston Rockets, Landry's, and Golden Nuggets bricks and mortar business, uh, a great promotional opportunity. DraftKings expects $300 million in cost savings from the synergies that come here. And analysts tell me, this was really the Golden Nuggets' only option since it has only significant market share in New Jersey. It really didn't have the balance sheet to compete elsewhere. Jason Robbins and Tillman Fertitta will be on Power Lunch today at 2.15. And guys, the analysts are also telling me that they need a vacation because this is just the latest in what has been a bam, bam, bam deal-making week or so in August. And particularly for, for DraftKings contests. I mean, weren't we just talking last week about a data deal. I mean, DraftKings has been Genius really, sports. really active yeah. here. Yeah, they sure are. They're trying to make sure that they are marking out their territory when it comes to not just the sports betting world, which they're the major player with FanDuel in almost every state and almost every market that they're in. But this iGaming customer, I can't stress how important it is because it's multiples higher, more important to the bottom line than the sports gambling customer. And they really have not been able to make a headway in trying to attract those customers onto the DraftKings platform.